there's some good news to recently come out about tubes that I'm going to share with you. Many of you know that there is a panic in the music industry because the war between Russia and Ukraine, in a blink of an eye, vacuum tubes or valves in Europe are now somewhat scarce or at least half decently priced ones. I don't mean for one second to trivialize what's happening and my heart goes out to the people that live there. The good news is, is that three different companies are scrambling to fill this sudden void. The first is a company you likely never heard of, Western Electric. And they're right here in the US. They've been around since 1869. These guys know tubes. From what I gather, a former employee is the person to invent the Audion tube. They bought the patent from him and started manufacturing the tube in 1912. They also played a huge role developing products for the film industry when sound was paired with film, as well as loads of other cool things in the course of the company's history. They recently decided to possibly start manufacturing tubes for the music industry. Up until now, they were only making high-end tubes for the hi-fi industry. I'll leave a link below to their website, and they want to hear from you. If you are a musician who relies on tubes, I encourage you to use the link below to fill out their short questionnaire asking what tubes you are interested in. They also want to hear from you if you are an OEM, a dealer, a distributor, or even just an enthusiast. Secondly, Tube Amp Doctor, or TAD, they recently sent out an email in it, they mentioned there have been only three noteworthy manufacturers of tubes in the world. They were in China, Russia, and Slovak Republic. They go on to say that in August of 2019, the largest manufacturer, Xu Hong, closed its factory in order to move to a larger, more modern location. Unfortunately, the new production facility has not been granted permission for two years now. This probably means the end of Xu Huang's tube factory. TAD anticipated the closing of Xu Huang and found another fledging company in China and facilitated in helping them expand and retool in order to make tubes for guitar amps. And they've been putting out tubes since the spring of 2021. They plan on expanding to more tubes and increase production to help meet the new demand soon. And TAD is known for extremely high quality tubes, so I expect nothing less from them. Since they are having tubes manufactured independently of the three previous manufacturers mentioned, it should significantly ease the supply situation within a few months. And lastly, the company that produced the most tubes after closing Xu Guang Electroharmonics has now figured a workaround. You may have heard that Mike Matthews, the owner and CEO of EHX, stopped all orders and production last week for obvious reasons. EHX stated that it's now accepting new orders, processing back orders, and hoping to resume shipping in April 2022. Unfortunately, this new workaround will see prices increase because of the tariffs placed on products from Russia. We don't know yet how much that will increase, but if the US follows Canada's lead of 35% additional tax, we will certainly feel it in our wallets. I believe that the EHX umbrella is Sovtech, Tung Sol and Gold Lion 2 brands as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I believe that that's how it works. JJ Tubes, the company in Slovak Republic, is the smallest of the big 
or three manufacturers of the three big manufacturers, they were already 18 to 20 months behind. Like it'll be even longer now, I'm sure. We need companies to step up like Western Electric to help fill that void. When I heard the news that there was soon to be a tube shortage, I went online and bought some tubes. I noticed that many places had already raised the prices exorbitantly, probably to cash in. I wanted to get tubes for my Port City Pearl and my 1966 Fender basement. Not to hoard them, I just wanted enough tubes to soon refurbish my basement and just have some spare tubes for the Port City Inn. I ordered from two places. Oddly enough, both orders came in the same day. Both of these places charged a fair price. The tube store's website is not even open for business currently while taping this. They've been bombarded with people panicking, I guess. I, I got in there early enough. It's a very first world problem, I know, but people don't realize how many things the music industry depends on, raw materials and products that come from Russia and Ukraine. Nickel. Cobalt. Integrated circuits are just a few things. Guitar pickups rely on nickel and cobalt to create the pickups. Nickel coated guitar parts. Most of the speaker cabinets, nearly every amp builder is making, is made from birch plywood. 50% of the production of neon gas required for making chips or integrated circuits come from Ukraine. So that means it's not just affecting music manufacturing. Everyone is feeling this trickle down. I'm optimistic that with this recent news, the void that has been created will get filled. Maybe not right away, but things will be okay. At least until that one day, tubes will be no more. And it will happen one day. The writing is on the wall. Perhaps this tube panic was a dress rehearsal for that inevitable day. I like tubes. I like that the fact that they don't reproduce sound perfectly. And other people do too. That's the magic about tubes. And that's why they probably pair so well with guitar amps. They're perfectly imperfect. I don't want to go digital. No!